All right, so in this video, we are going to do some more bootstrap stuff because in, as you saw in the second video on the Mittens series, we introduced bootstrap. We used it a little bit to do the grid layout. So now we're gonna use it to change these controls here to make them look nicer because bootstrap is full of cool components. So what I always start out by doing is type bootstrap components. And that'll bring you to the components page. Here's all the goodies. So you already saw the glyphicons in the series. So let's take a look at all the other stuff. Uh, in particular, I want, I want the input groups, inputs basically. So these inputs look a lot nicer than the ones we have on our page. So let's start out by fixing that. So let's go over to the screen here Hold on a second. okay let's go over to home and okay we have our login box right here and let's see if we can bootstrap eyes this um, edges, bar. um Okay, yeah, let's just see if we can bootstrap eyes these input groups. So one thing you have to do when, when working with bootstrap is you have to surround your input boxes with uh, input group class. So let's do that first um, for each input. So let's do this. Oops. Copy, paste, Copy, paste, and then okay. And then for the button, let's see if this did anything. I don't think it does anything yet. Okay, it did some stuff. Okay, and now here's the trick: you have to do class equals form control. So inside the input group. You do class equals form control, and then class equals form control. And I think that is what makes it look nice. So let's see how that looks. Okay, much better, much better. And now this button here, um, Bootstrap comes with some cool buttons. So button groups. Actually, you know what? It might not be in components. It might be in CSS. Some of it's mixed and mashed a little bit. Let's see, buttons. Yeah, here's the buttons we want. So, oops. Um, let's do a blue button. That's the popular one nowadays. Um, your button sizes. Let's do a large blue button. So, class equals BTN, BTN primary, BTN LG to make it large. So, let's copy all this. And let's paste it right here on the button. Save that. And there you go. We have a much nicer looking web page now. Let's see what we can do about these boxes here. They're still kind of ugly looking. They're just black boxes. And I think um, Bootstrap comes with some stuff for that. Uh, I don't want to use a table. Um, I think they have something better. Let's take a look at their components. Let's scroll through here really quick. Mm, could do text boxes, navs, uh, nav bar. I don't need that. Pagination, maybe badges, maybe label. Um, panel. I think panel is what I want. Yes, a panel. So, a panel is basically a nice light outline around some nicely padded text, which is what we were going for here. It's just. Again, my design skills are not on par with uh, the bootstrap community. So let's just go with what they have. So all you got to do is just copy these two lines here. Panel, panel default is the outer div and the inner div is panel body. So let's copy that. And let's see, for each meow and mouse. Okay, right now they're H3s, so that's no good. Let's, uh, let's, this is what we're going to get rid of, this H3 right here. This is what's being repeated. 
So instead of repeating an H3, we're going to repeat a panel. We want a panel for each meow. So slash div and then slash div. So these two outer and inner div for each meow. So let's copy this ng repeat, paste it right here. And then let's see, how did we design this? We had the, the glyphicon, the text of the meow, the X button. And then on the second line, we had Dave, the, uh, the username. And I think we could just copy paste all of that right inside of this panel. So let's see how that looks. Okay, I'm gonna comment this out. I don't need this anymore, but let me comment it out just to be sure. Let's see how this looks. Okay, much better, much better. Um, maybe we can make them a little bigger. So meow.txt, let's see. Let's try this, span um, class equals meow text. We're gonna put some styling on to make it nice and big like it was before. This boo shop applied its own styling and I don't really like it that much. So let's try this style. Um, the meow text. Let's do font size uh, 26px. And let's see how that looks. Okay, much better. Uh, then we can, we can still play with it some more. Um, one thing I want to do is make this grayed out. I think I had it grayed out. I don't know where it went though. This username, let's say small class equals uh, meow user. Let's give it some style. So let's say dot meow user uh, font, or I think it's just color. And then we'll do uh, off black, which is 333. Actually, I, know, I think we were doing 666 before. Let's try this. Okay, it's a little more gray. So we bootstrap that and oh yeah, how do we make this glyphicon bigger? If I my memory serves me correctly, I think you just have to do a little bit of uh, font size. But let me just confirm that. If I want to make this glyphicon bigger, uh, don't mix, changing the font location, examples. Yeah, I think it's just font size. So let's try that. Let's see. Span class equals glyphicon, glyphicon user. Let's see a uh, user icon. Let's save that. Let's add a user icon class. And let's say font size 26px. And we save that. And then refresh. Okay, now it's bigger. And then I can make this X bigger too, but I don't really have a need to right now. So that's pretty much it. Um, one more thing. Let's put a nice little light outline around this login box. So where's that login box? Title box, now it's in home.html. ng hide equals current user. Okay, this whole thing right here. Let's say class equals login box. I'm gonna save that the style. Let's make a dot login box class. Let's put a border on it. Um, border one one px solid. And I want to match the color of these borders here. So I'm going to do right click inspect, and then let's find these little guys right here. Border ddd. Okay, let's do that. Solid. DDD is the color. I saw that by looking over here on the right. It says border color DDD. So that's provided by Bootstrap automatically. So I can still inspect it. Just because it's not mine, I can still uh, inspect it and, uh, and take a look. So let's see here. Um, okay, let's save that. Let's see how that looks. Okay, um, let's give it some padding so it's not right up against it. Actually, let me see what padding they're using over here. Padding on this box right here. Padding, padding, padding. Actually, there isn't much padding. Let me see here. Oh, here's where the padding is, 15px. So let's do that. 
padding. So the padding was on the inner div, on the bootstrap div there. And then lastly, let's refresh that. Okay, looks good. And there's a little bit of a curve on the edges here. So let's see if we can get that curve down right. What are they doing for their curve? Let's see. Border radius. Yeah, border radius 4px. So let's do that. Border radius 4px. And then save that. Refresh. And there we go. A much nicer looking page here. Let me add some top margin to that title box real quick. Uh, let's see. Margin top. I don't like how it's so flush against the uh, top of the screen. Refresh. Okay, much better. This is starting to look like a cool, nice little website. All with just simple CSS on top of the uh, bootstrap baseline. So stay tuned and we'll dig into everything else.